Hello. <laughs> <laughs> wake up. Wake up. You sleepyhead. I don't get know. Up, See, I had it up, better with Now I feel back a little. No, we lost Sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have my Peabody shirt on. The little ducks. If you ever go to Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. It's the cutest little thing to see the ducks come down in the elevator and then they waddle across the lobby and they go into a little pond and then they stay there for the um, couple hours, I think. Mm -hmm. And then uh, then they bring them back up and they go, and they go up to the, the elevator. They, they go up the elevator. Uh, we did that how many years ago? We went as a sister's ago. trip. Um, Sue, Mary, me, Sandy. Did anybody else go? Just the four of us. The four of us. When that was when we used to do sister trips all the time. Yeah. We went to more than one place year after year. And then... Uh, yeah, we went to... Na Nashville. No, we went to Mem No, we flew into Nashville and we went to uh, the Grand Ole Opry and um, someplace else. And then we drove to Memphis. I think so. And we went to Elvis's in the ghetto. <laughs> How appropriate was that song? Because his house was truly in it the ghetto. It was very disappointing. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was like a colonial. Like, it was like maybe back then it was rich or something. I don't thought know. it was going to be. It was nowhere near what I thought it was going to be. And then we went. But my sister Sue was the biggest Elvis fan oh. ever. So this was like going yes. to the Holy Grail. So yeah, I wasn't. You know, I was going along with the. It two, was her. It, it was, was her two, year to pick. Yes. That's what she <laughs> picked. <laughs> picked. And then we've been to Chicago. Yeah. And we've been to Disney World. Yep. I didn't go with you at Disney World. I don't think. No, I don't think remember. We and then who knows why we stopped going, but we did. But anyway. Anyway, I, I just got back from my grandson's soccer game, game and he was like a he's really good goal. Four. He's only four, and uh, I should not have been driving. I didn't realize how dark it was going to get. I won't drive with her. It was well, I won't drive with her at all. <laughs> Quite well, honestly, it doesn't have to be at night anymore. <laughs> I know, my eyes are really, really getting bad. But uh, I, I thought I'd be home before it got dark. You know, I know the sun went down at 10 to 7, and... Uh, and I knew the game wouldn't be over till seven, and I knew it was like a 25 minute drive, but somehow didn't all calculate in my mind that, you know, it would be dark. So when I was driving home, I did stay on the, and I drove the expressway, so, but I stayed Scary. in the right lane and just drove the speed limit, mm -hmm. clutched at the 10 and two. Yeah. We used to take turns, but I won't let her she drive me. Drive anymore. But, I know, value my life far too much. But supposedly I'm going to have perfect vision. Mm -hmm. They said 2020. Well, no, I'm sure after the surgery, but, but right now you shouldn't. But see, I kind of like that I don't have to drive. Then she can drive all the time. But anyway, we're going to uh, try to answer some questions. questions that, you know, nobody really sent them to us. We made them up ourselves. The only thing I we... didn't make them. Up. Let me clear. So if they don't like, you don't like the questions. These aren't mine. I made them up. The only I don't question, even know what they we are. We did get one question from Diane and two A-N-T-U. And she'd like to know what our favorite hobbies are and if we were born and raised in Michigan. We were born in Detroit, both of us. No, I was born well, in Mount Clemens. Okay, it's close by Detroit. It's like, but we it's lived... It's a completely different city. We lived in Detroit, okay? Anyway, when we were all younger. Until um, I was, well, you moved out before I moved out. I moved out in 1986. Of the city, I mean. Of the um, city. I moved out of the city in 1986. And I moved out... When did I move out? In 89. It was three years later. Yeah, three years yeah. later. So from, you know, Bort first to then we were living in Detroit. And what was the other part? Oh, hobbies. hobbies. She's got a ton. I do have a lot. But my favorites would probably be quilting. Because um, I like to get in there and sew and I can close the doors. <laughs> get away from everybody. Uh, and um, I like card making. I used to scrapbook. Um, it's just too time consuming. And um, my kids love to look at those scrapbooks. So I really feel bad that it kind of just stopped. But... Um, those are probably my top two. I I love to read. Oh, um, I read too. I read a lot. I um, I don't wear glasses when I read, so it's kind of nice. But supposedly I'm not going to need them anyhow. I don't believe this, but this is what they tell me. And um, in the winter, my husband and I like to do crossword puzzles, so we do a crossword puzzle all the time. She what does, do I not she do? Does everything. <laughs> I don't so. Um, I don't. I don't. Do I have lot. taken any kind of class that you could ever imagine: yes. stained glass, painting. <laughs> yes. Well, we did a paint by numbers the one time, or not paint by no. numbers. I've gone to paint an with a twist. No, no, one? I've gone to an actual class. Let's see. I, I mean, I did. no, but my point being is, I just love. To, I think I like to take a class. She's and a risk my, taker. My mind to keep moving on new things and stuff. She's so. a she's a, a risk cross taker. stitch. I mean, you name it, I probably tried it if it's a hobby. <laughs> Yes, that's she Photography. <laughs> what else? <laughs> I do reading and crossword puzzles. That's about it. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. I'm gonna, oh, on that note, um, who was it? Lori, Lori or Kim? 
I think it was Kim. I can't remember if it was Lori or Kim from Fit and Fabulous Mo Mamas. They had um, asked to see my stuff. And I am going to do a whole separate video on it. I like, not like I don't want to see any, but she doesn't do any of those things. I'm going to have her show you, <clears throat> excuse me, the puzzle that we put together. And I have a picture. She has frame. one. I have one a frame to show you. <laughs> one, one completion. She's proud of it. So we will put it on there. It was but, very uh, hard. It was very hard. It wasn't hard. But then I'll show you my quilts and cards I've made. And that'll be a short one. But I'll, I'll do that separately. So that She'll have to show day. you her craft room because that'll I just show you nice how craft she gets into things. It should have been like a study. But no, it's hers. Anyway, but, so anyway. that'd be separate. Okay. Okay. Our first question is, uh, what is the first thing you notice about people? I mean, talking about looks wise, I would say it's their smile. Their I'd say teeth, their, their smile. I'd say their teeth and their smile. Uh, what is your least favorite thing about yourself? Hmm. Hmm. The fact that I'm unfit, that I've let myself be this for so long. I think um, I'm, you know, generally happy. I have a nice life. I have a nice home. I have a nice family. She's I have my family sister. I grew up with. Um, so all things are hitting, you know, on all burners except for the fact that I am not fit. So that's probably what I'm least favorite thing about myself. How about you? Mine is my big old butt. I have a big old butt. And, you know, people are going to get butt implants. I'm thinking, you can okay, come and get some of my butt because I don't want my butt. And uh, I have, which I'm sure you've noticed, I have a, a twitch in my left eye, which is, which I might, I, people at work know. I've been, like, in the bars and stuff like that, and I've had people bring a drink over and say, oh, that's from that person over there. And it's because I was winking, they thought, and I wasn't winking at them. It was just like... I've never really noticed it, and I've looked... Look at my videos. She doesn't look at my videos, then. Of course, I do look at your videos. Don't you notice you I'm think, always... Well, no, you feel like that's what it's doing. <laughs> well, that's my least favorite thing about me, because it's, it's like... Not. It is. Oh, and then I make faces when I cut things, because my daughter pointed yes, that out. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, your favorite season, is it summer or winter? Mine would be summer. I like being outside. Gardening was another... <laughs> Taking a lot of them. Um, so I like being outside. Mine would be summer. I, You know, I don't like wearing the bathing suit and all that, but I love the, the weather and stuff like that. Whatever. What's the excuse you use the most? The excuse I use the most? Hmm. You have yours? Because i got to think about it. You already knew the question. Oh, excuse me. That's my excuse. <laughs> excuse me. Um, the excuse I use the most? I don't like to drive, so I'll, usually I'll just say, you know, I don't really feel like driving. So. That would be probably a one for me if it's something happening at night. Before I had my LASIK surgery, I had glasses, and um, I could hardly see at night driving. I'd get a lot of glare and a lot of the, um, what do you call it, around the lights. Halos. Halos around the lights, and if it was raining, we'll hang that up. So now, and then I had the LASIK surgery, and quite honestly, I can see perfectly fine. But those memories of of driving so even to this day even though i can see perfectly fine i will still not want to drive if i don't if it's not a straight shot and i know where i'm going i will i always tell them and it's not it's not really an excuse it's a true i'd be white knuckling <laughs> she's driving the rain either yeah oh i don't like to drive in the rain and i can see now but it's just all those memories yeah I when think I was, that's my excuse when i, I was driving home the white line on the side was like swaying hmm. but i know it wasn't but that's what i was seeing yep um, how long can you go on doing what you're doing as what do you far mean? as your weight loss? Well, it has to be for life. Yeah. <laughs> because even if you lost all the weight, you would gain it all back very easily if you didn't continue on. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to do it. I'm just accepting that fact. Um, I forgot the question. How long can you go oh, on Oh, how long can I go on what I'm doing? Uh, well, at least until my birthday next year because I'm going to lose my 100 pounds. Yeah, but if you lose your weight and then you stop, well, you know caring, what? The thing is you're now, put it all back on. The thing is now is like I, I think I'm going in the opposite direction because now I, I feel so guilty when I do eat, and it's like I shouldn't feel guilty to eat. People that are thin have donuts, they have cake, they have cookies, but if I have a, a donut or a cookie or something like that, I feel guilty, even though I ate out a lot last week. Because then I got to thinking I went to McDonald's too, so I mean, it's just stop. <laughs> it's just I um. <laughs> It's just, I don't know. I, I think I ate out every day okay, last okay. week. Okay, Anyway. Um, did I ask if you're taking care of yourself? Obviously, I'm not if I'm eating are out all the time. Are you taking care of yourself? What are the heck do they I mean know what I mean by that. Are you taking oh, care of What do you think is your best feature or characteristic? Oh, we're moving on from yeah, that Yeah, we'll one? move on from that one because I don't know. I don't quite understand it. Are you taking care of yourself? Well, like I think they mean are you putting yourself first over someone else? 
No, my kids go first. I, I never put myself first. I, I never can't. do. If it's something that there's a choice, it's the kids. I thought that once my kids were grown and gone, I, I would not, I'd put myself first, but I'm, I'm always at the bottom of the run. And you know what? I don't have a problem with that. I, 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 yeah, I think I'm pretty handy. You with know, when them. we do family dinners on, on Fridays, I'm always the last one to make my plate. And it's not because nobody's pushing me out of the way. It's just that I just think that I did it for everybody else. Wait. She doesn't. She's first in luck. Not quite first. <laughs> but. That'd, that'd be my husband. <laughs> yeah, that would be Jim. <laughs> but. And then maybe I'm second. Yeah. But, no. I don't like people touching all the food. Jeez. Even if it's my family, <laughs> I'm kind of crazy yeah. about that. So yeah. I do like to get in there before the little kids and they put their hands and stuff. But anyway, yeah. that's really why. But go ahead. Okay. <laughs> well, back to what do you think is your best feature or characteristic? Uh, I think I'm a genuinely nice person, totally. And I think that's my best feature. I mean, I, I can be mean and I can be nasty <laughs> if oh. you make me be. But generally, I am a very happy and nice person. That's what I think my best feature is. I think I'm just, I can talk to anybody. I think that's a, I think that's a good feature. I just, I don't even know if I don't know you, I still talk to you. I went up to this little old lady today when we were getting our license, and she was coming out hardly walking with a cane, and she's swinging that loose purse, and I didn't mean to scare her, and I did scare her, but I went up to her, and I told her, <laughs> I said, you know, anybody could grab your purse, put it around your neck or something. Oh, it's just, so then they'll yank her and bring her to the ground. Well, they're going to put it better they the grab it easy than... She, she was not going to give that purse up. No, you don't know that, but geez, if they try to yank it from her, and she's got it around her neck, she's going to break a hip. What anyway, the best feature, I think that's physical. Oh, physical, my best Believe feature? Believe it or not, now, and this would be so crazy, it's my hair. <laughs> I think my <laughs> best feature. Because all growing up, I had the worst hair ever, truly. Uh, when I was little, I was nice, straight, blonde, always beautiful. And then, <laughs> then I turned five. <laughs> It's like I put my hand in a socket, wasn't it? And yeah. so then I grew my hair very long because the weight of it would pull the curls out and it's still, I'd always have it in a ponytail. I, I hated my hair growing up, but now, like lately, I mean, I know I'm not beautiful with it, but it's no work. I just wash it and I'm done for the day. So I think that's my best feature with yours. I don't think I have a best feature. Oh. I'm not trying to be like gloomy or doomy or anything. Wah, but, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> but I just, um, I got a big old butt. I got flat boobs. I think your hair. I got moles on my face. I can't see I like my your hair. hair. Oh no, my hair is. My your hair, hair is very easy. That's, I guess, why I think it's a good feature. Because yeah. you don't have to, we don't work at these. We don't work at this. Trust me. This is how I turn out. <laughs> uh, what three adjectives best describe you? Hmm. Mine would be nutty, friendly, and happy-go-lucky. Well, that's more than one word, though. Well, that's kind happy. of happy. I would say nice, loyal. Oh, that's a good one. I'm loyal too. <laughs> Just gonna add on to my. And I don't know what's in that. Uh, happy. Might be happy. Okay. What is the most disgusting thing you ever ate? Oh, I know mine right off the bat. Kiwi. It's like having a whole mouthful in your mouth. It was like, oh, nasty. Octopus. I didn't know I was eating it. And oh, I was I good. I like octopus. Oh, Just I the like thought that. that I had that in my... Yeah. No, 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 no. What is one thing you regret in your life so far? One thing I regret. That I was so bad with money. I should be rich beyond belief. But uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not even close. I, I live a very comfortable life. Don't yeah, get me wrong. Cannot complain. I'm not complaining, no complaining that like that. Really, but really but like complaining. if I have like, just the, like in theory, if I had a hundred dollars in the bank, I should probably have a million dollars in the bank because I was very reckless with money my whole life. And then my husband was just as bad. So we were like, like at least Denise has got Gary who kind of offsets her a little bit. Jim and I are the same. We're in the same boat going the same way. So... Yeah, you do need the balance. I think yeah. that's why I don't feel that way. Um, my biggest regret in life, I don't know. I think it was far too serious when I was younger. Yeah, she was too too mature. <laughs> Very. And so, I, I don't know, because I I say that thinking that, you know, I started later in life and not to get all woo-woo for, for me. But because of not marrying until later in life, I, you know, could not have children myself. And that that's a whole other story. But I don't know that I would have found Gary earlier, and Gary's perfect for me. <laughs> so I don't know that's even a regret. 
Okay, we'll go on from there. What is your favorite movie, Ling? You save know, for a clownfish, he's not very funny. <laughs> That's Sandy's. <laughs> um, mine would be, we'll save that guy for later, which, <laughs> from Beetlejuice. Because this one here goes, <coughs> All the time, and every time she says it, because he's like got a bug in his mouth, like he's—I don't know if you've ever seen the movie. <laughs> and so he goes and he puts it in his pocket, and he closes his that coat and saves that guy for later because she does it all the time. I do. I do a lot. She does very good here. You don't. You don't no, see it. You don't see it because it's really bad. Mm -hmm. When we used to go up north camping or whatever, we used to. I either had to go to bed first and fall asleep, or I had to wait till everybody else was in bed and go to sleep because they make so many noises at night. Um, How many more are there? Just a couple more. Already if you could, fifteen. Okay, okay, if you could spend five minutes with the president, what would you talk about? Medicare. It's a ripoff. It's like it just pisses me off because Jim's got to go to the chiropractor, and the, he says he can't do it unless he do X-rays, and the X-rays cost from two to six hundred dollars each time he goes. And I'm not a really big fan of chiropractors anyhow. I'll be put that right out there. So. Uh, I argued. I got him to like forty dollars a visit, no X-rays, but it, it took hell. But we gotta pay a penalty. Oh, okay. I already went, sure on, went on about that. It's just that annoys me. If I could talk to the president, I would talk about gun control because I do believe that you should be able to protect yourself with a personal gun in your home. Uh, the concealed is a little questionable to me because some people should not be carrying a gun around in life. <laughs> but the mere fact that they can get by, you know assault rifles and all that kind of thing. There's no need for that. There's no hunter that needs that. There's just no need for it. So to me, I would like to really have them think that that should be utmost important because all these shootings in schools is just crazy. I mean, how many, is it 46 now? Yeah. 46 you know, shootings in school uh, this year alone. And they're all assault rifles and stuff. There's no need for them. Protect yourself, yes, but you know. Anyway, well, I would also tell the president that he shouldn't let have people like lobbyists and that, because that's where all these. Well, yeah, that's why the from. one. What's his name? That's running now. He's a Democrat. I know she never. I watched the debates. I, I watched the debates. Terribly, I can't remember his name. B Bernie. Ben, no, Bernie. Bernie Sanders. Yeah, I think that's his name. And uh, anyway, he was interesting. See, and I don't believe in the president vote because. My vote doesn't count. Denise and I argue about this all the time. If the state of Michigan decides that they want to vote for a Republican and I, the D Democrats won, then you know what? They don't win because it's with this stupid electoral vote. You know, I like, do think they should revamp that. They should I revamp that. But I think you know your what? vote does count. Because Al Gore really won that election, but no, President Bush got it. Nothing against President Bush, but you know, anyway. whatever. But you know, like I think if they didn't loop so many things and let these people, like the NRI wouldn't be as popular, or yeah, popular. You get so They're many votes. You don't They're need assault powerful. weapons. You don't need assault weapons exactly. and all that. I, I'm not saying that hunters shouldn't have their guns to That's go hunt and stuff. That's what I'm saying. Stuff, there's, a, there's a balance that could be made there. But, but you know, anyway. you don't need Uzis and all that. Exactly. Okay. How would your friends describe you to someone you have not met? They have not met. You know, like, it's first if they're going to describe you to somebody that you haven't. I would think she's really nice. <laughs> you got to get to know her. Because I, I sometimes come across as very aloof and... Uh, I don't know. I think people think of me as a different way, and then when they get to know me, they think, oh my God, how come I didn't know you? So she probably would warn person that I'm not, you know, I'm nicer than I, I appear on, on meeting. Um, I think my friends would describe me as someone who would do anything for you. Talks a lot. <laughs> Just talk a lot. <laughs> Always has something to say. Uh -huh. Can carry on a good conversation about anything. And our last question. We need to wrap it up. We're going to get to 20. Well, quick. this will be quick because everybody knows what mine is. And they should know mine too. What are you afraid of? <laughs> that would be me. Bees. Anything flying. It doesn't even have to be a bee. As I hear it until I know it's not a bee. It's a, I'm afraid of it. Yeah, and I... And I death. Death. <laughs> Just... <laughs> She's yeah. afraid to die. I'm afraid Which to die. Which we're all going to do. You know, because there's going to be pain. Because there was pain when you were born, but you just don't you remember. Get it before 20. I don't want to get into okay. 20 because that takes longer. Okay. okay. Like? Oh, like? Well, we got to tag. Yeah. We're tagging. Oh, we don't have time. Well, we're going to tag real quick. I'm tagging Gina Pearson, uh, Kelly Fornia, K E L L A F R O R N I A, 1964, and Pumpkin Girl, 1950. And I'm gonna tag uh, if Tay. Come on, Tiffany. You gotta. We gotta get back in this. And uh, that's all I got time for. So that's all I'm gonna do. Anyway, like, subscribe, like, comment, comment, share. Bye. Bye.